Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetechforteachers.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at Google Books and how your students can use it to do research. I think this is one of the tools that students often don't know about or just overlook when they're doing research and can be a very powerful tool for them. So the first thing you'll notice, we're at books.google.com. And when you arrive here, uh, you have an option for a shop for Google Books on Google Play. We're not going to do that. That's if you want to buy books to download to your tablet or your phone. We're going to do some research here. I'm going to do a very generic research question. I'm just going to put in Civil War. And we're going to search for books. And the results we come up with, you can see we have 33.3 million results here. Uh, part of that is because I use a very generic search term. Uh, but the other reason is in my search tools, right now I'm looking for any kind of book and any kind of document published at any time. I want to narrow this down a bit. Let's go from any books to free Google eBooks. And if we want to narrow it down some more, we can say we want just books. And we want things that were published uh, just in the 19th century. So now I've narrowed down my results a bit. And let's go ahead and take a look at one of these books. Let's look at the Civil War in Song and Story. And here's where Google Books really becomes a nice tool for students doing research. They can actually search inside the book. Let's go ahead over here on the left-hand side. I want to see if there's any mention of the Battle Hymn of the Republic. So let's just say Battle Hymn and do a search for it. And there we are. We can see on page 103 we have a section on the Battle Hymn of the Republic. I'm going to click on that page and I can go ahead and I can read that page. You can see all the lyrics and I can see whatever else was written about the Battle Hymn of the Republic. Now there's some neat little tools here that Google offers us. First of all, let's go ahead and clip that section out of the book. So I'm going to use this scissor tool here. And I can just highlight that portion. You'll notice now I have a copy of just that text available to me. I can translate it if I want. Bear in mind it's using Google Translate, which is notorious for producing some kind of questionable translations. Uh, but we also have the option to embed just a, that portion of the book. So if you want your students, for example, to read just that one section of the book, you can embed it into your classroom blog, your classroom website, and have them just go there and read it. Now, this book is a little bit difficult to read because it's just a scan of the book. It's just, you know, run through a scanner and put online. We can change it to plain text over here. I open up the sprocket tool. Let's go to plain text. And now I can scroll through and I'll have just the text without the, uh, without the scan of it. I want to go back to the previous version of it. So I'm going to go to page images and I'm back to my original version here. Now I have a couple of other options here. You'll notice I have selected this book and added it to some shelves. In Google Books you can create book shelves. So we can add this to let's say my Civil War reading list. And if we want to go to my bookshelf, we'll just go to my library over here in the gear icon. And we can see all of my bookshelves that I have made. I have some that are private, like this purchased list. And I have some that are public as well. And this is really kind of neat. Let's say I want to share a bookshelf with my students. Let's take my Civil War II. Notice this bookshelf is public. I can share this with my students just by giving them the URL that's assigned to this bookshelf. Every bookshelf that you make in your library has a URL assigned to it. And if you've made it public, you can just give that link to your students and they can open up that list of books. So if you've gone through Google Books and you've selected 
20 or 30 books that you think your students might benefit from looking at in their research, just give them that link and they can check it out. So that's the basics of using Google Books for Research. Go ahead and try it out. I think you'll find that your students will enjoy using it.